information all over the place. They knew exactly what was going on. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, girlfriends, and they were put into planes, and they were sent back, for the most part, to Saudi Arabia. They knew what was going on. They went home, and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. I would be very, very firm with families. And frankly, that will make people think, because they may not care much about their lives, but they do care, believe it or not, about their families' lives. Donald, this is Go not, Governor this is, Bush. Governor Bush. This, this is another example of the lack of seriousness. Look, this is, this is troubling, because we're at war. They've declared war on us, and we need to have a serious strategy to destroy ISIS. But the idea that that is a solution to this is just, it's just crazy. It makes no sense to suggest this. Look, two months ago, D Donald Trump said that ISIS was not our fight, just two months ago. He said that Hillary Clinton would be a great negotiator with Iran. And he got, gets his foreign policy experience from the shows. Uh, come on, give that me. is not a serious kind of candidate. We need someone that thinks this through, that can lead our country to, to safety and security. Mr. Trump, look, the, the problem is we need toughness. Honestly, I think Jeb is a very nice person. He's a very nice person, but we need tough people. We need toughness. We need intelligence, and we need tough. Jeb said when they come across the southern border, they come as an act of love. You said in September 30th that ISIS was not a I, I, Am uh, I not talking or are you talking? I'm you talking right back. now. I'm talking. You can go back. You're not talking. talking. You interrupted me, September 30th, Jeb. Are you going to apologize, said Jeb? No. Am I allowed to finish? Yes, one at a time. Excuse go ahead, me. Mr. Am I allowed to finish? Go ahead, Mr. Trump. So, little of your again, I, there, right? I, know, uh, I know you're trying Governor to build Bush, up your energy, please. Jeb, but it's not one, working One at a well. time. Yeah. Look, look, look. We need a toughness. We need strength. We're not respected as, an, you know, as a nation anymore. We don't have that level of respect that we need. And if we don't get it back fast, we're just going to go weaker, weaker, and just disintegrate. We can't allow that to happen. We need strength. We don't have it. When Jeb comes out and he talks about the border, and I saw it, and I was witness to it, and so was everyone else, and I was standing there, they come across as an act of love. He's saying the same thing right now with radical Islam. And we can't have that in our country. It just won't work. We need strength. Governor uh, Bush. Donald, uh, you're not going to be able to insult your way to the presidency. That's not going to happen. And I do have the strength. <laughs> leadership, leadership, is not, leadership is not about attacking people and disparaging people. Leadership is about creating a serious strategy to deal with the threat of our time. And I laid out that strategy before the attacks.